bruh, really? Is that what you really doing? Girl, look. You funny. And you about to bring me, you about to inspire so much content because you just don't know how to quit. I'm going to run you crazy. You know why I'm going to run you crazy? Because you're not going to stop coming over here, making up stuff, trying to insinuate things that are, are not true. And what's going to happen is you're going to keep playing and you're going to be upset because you are a fraud and you know it. And you trying to understand why this shit happens so naturally over here. Because all that shit you talking about that you trying to insinuate that's not being done, baby, it happens. That's why I can see into your soul and your spirit. That's why you keep coming over here to see what the fuck is being said. That's why you can't bring yourself to do what is necessary because you know you is out of line and you is wrong. Boo-boo. Help myself. Bitch, I was helping myself before I even knew who the fuck you were. I haven't learned anything from you. You were entertainment to watch because I didn't see many people that was expressive <clears throat> of their beliefs or their crafts. Um, I have to say, over the years, I've never put stock or value in any of your so-called really supernatural powers, especially in the later years. Because I was able to see things that most people are not able to see. And it, that's that's not, that's your business. That's not my business to tell. But you know what the fuck I'm talking about. I don't get down like that. That's, that's, that's not the way I walk over here. Everything I do, I do genuinely. I don't need to do anything for you to help me. Although I do find it a joy to help people. But reciprocity is the law of my yacht. <laughs> so if you are benefiting from somebody's help, it is best to be grateful for them. Not try to backstab them. Not try to use them. Nobody tries to run over you. I never did anything to try and run over you. I have receipts to prove it. Do not make me go through this phone. And pull up motherfucking receipts. And show how foul and disgusting of a motherfucking human being that you are. I don't have no reason to lie on you ma'am. Everything I did to try to help you realize your dream. Was to try to help you realize your dream. Because I thought it was going to help a whole lot of people. But it turns out it's not to help nobody. It's to pad your pockets. It, it's to... To, to satisfy that gleam in your eye for that shit that you, you think you want. That's not helpful for people's spirituality. This shit is not a game. This is not just for your material wealth. I know it's like that for a lot of uh, spiritualists that's trying to be up and coming. You know what I'm saying? They they, they doing this for material gain. It's, but it's, so, it's about so much more than that. And here you are having hour plus breakdown. Watching videos <laughs> that I done made just on the fly, just random thoughts that I done had. And really, um, the whole time I've been over here going through this, I ain't even really responded to half of the shit that y'all done said. Y'all just sitting up here slandering me and all that. And um, I ain't even never mentioned the name, your name. Never mentioned your organization. Don't plan to. Because why promote you? When I thought you was going to be a decent person, I thought about promoting you. But I see that you are not. So, there's no reason for me to do any of that. But what I'm not going to do... Yeah. Um, I'm not going to let you slander me. That's what I'm not going to do. I know who I am. And it's really sad that you know you do you've done this same mo for years and years and years and I, I I'm 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 here for it, baby. As long as you get up there and talk, bitch, I'm gonna have an answer because that shit don't make no sense. You know, good and got that's why you over there ranting and raving right now because you know, good and goddamn well, you owe me a motherfucking apology because you know what you did was out of line. 
you know, you only got that sloppy old bitch over there because that motherfucker closer to your age and you ain't got no motherfucking friends and you want a friend so bad that you wouldn't let this hoe use and abuse you, mistreat you, mistreat the people that's trying to help you. Don't think I, I missed the fact. Did, do, do you realize that this bitch was going to try to fight me for a seat next to you up in that motherfucking house like we some motherfucking kids? I'm the youngest. That is that, that should be behavior coming from me. I'm the baby up in the motherfucker. But no, I got to act like an adult because this bitch don't know how to act because that's, that's who's looking for a mother figure. It's crazy because she got a mama. Shit don't make no sense. I don't need no apology. I don't need to seek no apology from my mother. The, the issues that I have with my mother, if you actually care to sit down and watch my channel, I talk about them. And... We moving into different places and spaces and things. I, I don't have these type of issues. See, you don't know shit about me. That's why you keep sticking your dumb ass foot in your mouth saying stupid shit. Perhaps, like I said, you need to pick up the phone. You need to humble yourself, ma'am. Pick up the phone and call the young buck and figure out what the fuck is going on. But you keep, you ain't gonna do nothing but run yourself crazy and I'm gonna help you do it. I'm going to help you do it because that's all you were attracted to. That's the only way you can do Because the actual work of spirituality, the actual cultivation of self, you don't know nothing about that. You so motherfucking immature and stupid in your old age. It is absolutely sad and it's sad because you have so much more potential than it. A whole hour sitting over there and ran about something I said on my video that you, didn't, you and your fucking minion that sat up here and made all kind of slander and lies about me. Like, y'all know anything about... You don't know shit about me. Because if you did, you wouldn't have got up there and said that dumb ass shit. If you was actually paying attention to the... You went and got a white boy to do... And, and recorded him. Recorded this white boy on your motherfucking platform to tell you the same shit that I told you. Let me tell you something else. Somebody, you ain't know why the goddamn heat wouldn't come on in the motherfucking house. Yes, he is right. Whenever you got cold ass in the cold ass air just hanging around, that is a presence. That is a, a negative presence most of the time. Y'all in the house the whole goddamn time and the heat wouldn't come on. Remember the heat wouldn't come on when we was there and I went over there and touched it and the heat came on. Baby, you had an angel in the presence. I even dressed up as an angel to show you who the fuck I was. I came to help you, ma'am. And you disrespected me. And you know you did. She wanted to do what she wanted to do. Me wanted to do what I wanted to do. You said you needed a meeting. That's what you said. You asked. When is the next temple meeting? I had no answer. When we got off that phone call, I sat down and sketched out an agenda and sent it to you. You told me it was hard for you to read to call you. I called you. We discussed this meeting. We set a time and a date. Somehow you talk to your minion and all of a sudden you forget all that. All this shit is in a text message. Please don't make me pull up receipts because I will. You are horrible. And you are wrong for what you did. And that's why you over there renting and raving because you know you wrong. Look, we all make mistakes. We human, baby. It happens. On you, shit. Apologize and move on. I'm not wrong in nothing that I'm saying. I'm not trying to make you bend to no wheel or something. What I am trying to do is get you to show how, how to be a decent human being. Get you to show how to actually, how you actually walk a spiritual journey. We ain't always right. That's what the fuck I'm trying to do. This situation didn't even have to be that. If it was queen, queen too much for me. No, 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 no. Queen got too much motherfucking sense. No, no. Queen want to do shit the right way too much. You know, queen, queen trying. No, we we don't want to get down like that. That's fine. You know what I'm saying? You didn't kick nobody out. Stop telling these lies. You had a balls to kick nobody out. You don't have the balls to actually step to somebody and tell them what is really fucking sitting on your heart you don't have that all you know how to do is go run behind somebody else and try to get somebody else to do your dirty work i don't know how the fuck you leading something like you're not a leader
you are messy and you are a follower. That's how you capable of doing. That's how you have shown and that's how that you have displayed. And you're going to keep getting up here doing, having all these men. Let me tell y'all, y'all are a fool and a motherfucker. If you take your ass somewhere where somebody told you, what retreat do you go to where you can't get a place to stay? Where you can't get food? What the fuck is she doing for you? Okay, I'm going to tell y'all, ain't no rituals going the fuck down. Them people not built like that. They don't do that. They don't do that. They not built for that. And if they do, it's going to be some put together ass shit that they learning as they go along. They not built for that. Okay? They don't do that. That was painfully obvious when we went down there. They don't fucking do that. That If that lady was to tell y'all the truth, I told her, um, I said, you know what? Um, there is, um, I told her it was a full moon. That weekend was going to be a full moon. I told her the full moon was actually in the sign of Taurus. Full moon in the sign of Taurus is a good time to do money ritual. Since it was an ancestral veneration thing, I was like, we could do clearing up ancestral debt. Clearing up ancestral debt will help you on the physical realm as well. I mean, I can attest to it myself. It's still a work in progress. But I have utilized it for shit like my student loans. And um, I, I've done rituals um, on that moon for stuff like that. And it, it helps. I was like, we can do a group ritual for that because we already ancestral veneration. Baby, there was no ancestral libations poured. The most we did was feed the ancestors when we had dinner. That was the most that we did. It wasn't nothing really going the fuck on because nobody know what the fuck was going on. And I felt like it wasn't my place to just stand up. And say, hey, y'all, let's do this, let's do that, do that. I feel like that would be being out of line. I'm trying to be respectful of her band. It was people in there that exorcisms needed to be done. And he sit up here, got this girl sitting up here telling y'all all this bullshit about some demon slay. Ain't nobody slay now motherfucking demon down there. Matter of fact, a bitch left out of there and her motherfucking head is gone. I, I don't even think that bitch normal no more. Unless she done took it upon herself to go see a therapist or something. Her head should have been washed. They let her walk up out the temple without her head being washed. Like, what that, What kind of shit is that? It, the place is full of fucking debauchery. The, the, the bitch didn't clean the house. Now, you the mother of the temple. What mother don't clean their house? Huh? Hmm? She did not clean the house. Done left all these people in here with all this negative ass energy up in there. And I'm not saying that it was negative energy inside of the temple. What I'm saying is anytime you go to a place of worship, especially a place that's going to sit at a crossroads. And I'm going to need y'all to go ahead and get into the significance of the crossroads. Because the crossroads is more than just a portal between life and death. It's a lot of shit that go. It, it, the crossroads is a place of transition. Okay. All kinds of shit goes on at the crossroads. Okay, all of the more reason just because of where the place is should have been consecrated. It was not. What is y'all paying this woman for? You not finna go down that look. You finna go down here and pay this motherfucker to visit her fucking botanica. Okay, a bunch of drop shift shit that she done put some labels on, and that shit ain't 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 been properly blessed. You know what I'm saying? Unless you know, unless. You're going to count it. They, somebody else made it. They brought it and prayed over this shit. You know, they may do that. Maybe. You know what I'm saying? I can't see that. I don't think these people built like that. But, um, I don't know. I make my own motherfucking candles. I make my own fucking oils. That shit is not fly by night shit. It takes months to make an oil. Months. That shit is a whole process. It is sciences and everything behind this shit. You not you ain't finna learn none of that because these people don't know that shit. Do you hear me? They don't know that. And it is not me trying to assault nobody or nothing, but I'm tired of being disrespected. And I, I tell you what, if Queen can't do nothing else, she can tell the motherfucking truth. Bitch, don't make me pull out receipts. I will pull out motherfucking receipts on your motherfucking ass. Stop playing with me. Tell me to stop watching you. You want me to stop watching you because you don't want me to rebut these motherfucking lies that you putting out here. What you better do is stop talking about me. That's what you better do.
Cause I'm not gonna fuck with you. I ain't got no reason to. My spirits told me your something's up with your ass. The spirits that was in the fire that told me about your ass. Okay? You keep fucking around. You I, you got some shit waiting on your ass. That's all I can tell you. You know what I'm saying? If you don't want to call or rectify this shit, be honest with yourself. Tell the truth about what the fuck is going on so we can get this cleared up and I can help you. And I ain't even talking about charging you. I'm just talking about helping you. I don't even want to charge you. Because for what? Like, that shit got to be miserable. That shit you over there sitting in got to be miserable. So why I'm going to charge you for that shit? For what? You real. You big man. Oh, she said that. I ain't even mention your shit not one time. I ain't mentioned it. By name ain't mentioned you by name. But everything I say, you see, huh? Y'all sitting up there want to make her lie. Don't make her lies about Queen. Queen, Queen, you got a question about Queen. Now you got to do it. And Queen got no problem tell you. I tell you, bitch. I will tell you. Hmm. Talking about stop watching you. No, I need to watch. Because, see, you are part of the problem that's in the spiritual community. And why these people can't get the healing that they fucking need. Why people can't get to the information that they need. You too busy out here selling illusions for the, uh, uh, uh objective pad in your pocket and people like you are a problem in the spiritual community so no i'm not gonna stop watching you but you ain't got to worry about me addressing nothing you saying unless you talking about me y'all need to stop talking about me y'all need to stop making up lies about me because i did nothing to you i said that shit was disrespectful you ask me when a meeting is going to be. I take time out of my schedule. I'm a mother. I am a wife. I have a job. I run my own spiritual business. I do other spiritual work. I set lights. I pray for people. I create uh, um, spell work. I help people. I have a lot of shit that I do. On top of trying to maintain myself. In which I go through a lot of shit. Maintaining myself because... For whatever reason, that is the, the 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 path that spirit has me on. So I'm taking time out of my busy schedule to help you realize your dream, only for you to come back and oh I don't know I don't know. And then I ask you, I say, if you're not going, if you don't want to do the meeting, that's fine. Just say something before the time of the meeting, so I can let everybody know their time ain't being wasted. You didn't even have enough decency and respect to do that. You on two minutes before the meeting start, I got to call you and be like, is you ready for the meeting? Only for you to tell me you eating. Fuck out of here. Turn your camera off and continue to eat. We got a meeting to have. We supposed to have an agenda. We supposed to be talking about getting all this shit together. Some actual shit that was supposed to happen. A reason for people to want to pay and come down there. You up here doing videos, making them private, ranting, raving, talking about how you ain't gonna feed folks, how folks ain't welcoming. Just up here losing your whole motherfucking mind. Simply because you just don't simply want to do what's right. Girl, bye. I will not take my foot off your motherfucking neck. I sure won't. And if you want to dance this dance and play this game, we can play this motherfucking game. Because, baby, I'm gonna tell you, you gonna either learn or <clears throat> or you gonna die from trying fucking with me cause I ain't taking my foot off your neck my foot off your neck would have been when you left it alone when we when we the last time we had a conversation if you would have left it the fuck right there because I'm not lost on the fact that one of our, our members at the time and I, I, I don't even know people walked away who the fuck walked away you motherfuckers start having secret powwow meetings and shit with y'all paranoid, crazy, messy, delusional asses. Start making up shit and, and disincluding folks. Like, we stupid. We like, ain't we supposed to be having a meeting? We talking in the damn. The girl birthday show up. Don't nobody tell her happy birthday. We supposed to be a sisterhood or a circle. Is something wrong with you? Who do that? That's not how you handle that. If you ain't want people there, you just simply say that. We is grown. But no, this is what you want. You want a bunch of broken, hurt people that, that, that want something, that need something. No. 
that's not me. I'm sorry. I'm not that person. I did what I was supposed to do. I came somewhere that I thought was going to be great with a humble heart, open, serving hands. That's what I did. And you know that's what I did. That's why you keep having these fucking meltdowns because you mad because I'm telling the truth. I don't give a fuck. The truth will set you free. And maybe if you eat that motherfucker, you can stop worrying about what the fuck I'm over here saying. You can stop worrying about what the fuck I got going on over here. You can stop worrying about what's happening over here on my channel and focus on your own shit. But you can't focus on your own shit because you don't know shit to focus on. All you can talk about is crazy conspiracy ass shit because you don't know nothing about no spirituality. All you know is debauchery and fuckery when it comes to this spiritual shit. And that's your business if that's how you want to live. But, uh, keep having your meltdowns. I will be watching. Because anytime you say something about me, I got a video for that ass. <laughs> and that's way better than a candle, bitch. <laughs> Y'all stay dark and lovely while spreading your living light.